In this video workshop, I'm going to show you how to install, set up and communicate with a serial device to a Groove Epic serial I.O. module. Now in my case, it's this GPS device that I happen to have sitting on my desk. First, start by installing the Groove Epic serial I.O. module on the rack. Now note that it must be placed somewhere in the first four positions. Ensure that the module is fully seated and secure the front retaining screw. Once the status LED turns blue, press and hold the top touch sensitive cap and thus select that module for display on the front screen of the EPIC processor. Now touch on Info to see the wiring diagram. Follow it for the device that you are going to be communicating with. So, in the case of my GPS device, I need to connect the ground on the GPS module to the ground on the EPIC processor. Transmit from the GPS to the Groove Receive and the GPS Receive to the Groove Transmit. Notice that as soon as I power up the GPS, it starts sending the data and I can see the Receive LED on the module start to flash in time with the data. So that's the hardware done. For the software now, let's open up Pack Control. If you're not familiar with this software, you can review the training lessons at training.opto22.com. Expand the I.O. tree and double click on the I.O. rack. Add the serial module at the location that matches the physical rack layout. For me, that's module position 3. Now expand that module and name your serial device. For me, that's a GPS module at point 0. Select the correct type of module and in the case of RS422 or RS485, select the bias and termination required. Now in my case, the device is RS232. Next, we need to configure the board rate, parity, data bits and the stop bit. And this is done as a communication handle variable that will be used to address the COM port in the software. Double click on the communication handle in the strategy tree and click on the Add button. Now you could name this COM handle after the position on the rack or by the device or by some other naming convention. I'm going to name it CH for COM handle and then the name of the device, GPS module. Next is the string that will set up the communication properties for the device. Now this string can be handled programmatically if it's likely to change as part of the process or it can be set here. Since my device is never going to change, I'm going to set the communication handle here. You need to first address the device. So it's the at symbol and then the exact name of the device as you just typed it a moment ago. After the device name comes a sequence of keywords and their value. The keyword must be in lowercase, must be followed by an equal sign and then a value. So in my case, here's the full initialization string. At GPS module full colon board equals 9600 comma parity equals n comma data equals 8 comma stop equals 1. Now for full details on all the possible parameters that the COM handle can support, refer to the PAC control user's guide. When it comes time to program the flowchart, there's lots of options and different ways to write the code. We're going to look at the bare minimum required to see the data from the GPS device. Let's start with a new chart, name it, and now we have a clean canvas. Now let's add our first function block, right click and name it INIT. Now we can double click on it and add our instructions. The first thing we have to do is open the communications to the Groove Epic serial module. We do this by using the command open outgoing communication. We must use the COM handle value that we set up previously and then I'm going to put the status into a new variable and this will help troubleshoot any possible errors. Once the communication command opens the port, you can then send and receive data as necessary. 
In my case, I want to receive the GPS data into a string table. And I know that there is a line feed at the end of each message. So I'm going to set my end of message terminator to be an ASCII 10, which is the decimal code for the line feed. Now that's all we need to do in the initialization block. So now for the main loop. Let's place an OptoScript block here and name it Get Data. First thing we're going to do is create a string table to put the data into. So let's add it. And we can set the number of elements and the length. Since we're going to loop around here, waiting up to a second for the data to arrive, we need to add a delay. Now, every chart must have a delay in any loops. This is not optional. So we're going to add a small delay here, say 10 milliseconds. It's always a good idea to comment your code. So let's add a quick comment here about the next command. I know I'm going to get several messages from the GPS device, and each one is terminated by a line feed, as I mentioned. So I'm going to put each message into its own string table element. The command I'm going to use is receive string table. I'm going to get eight messages, and I want to start at table index zero. The table name is GPS data. And I'm going to receive them from my com handle GPS module. Let's do a test compile. Great, no errors. Now we just add the connections for these blocks in this chart. And that's all we have to do here. Now the last thing we need to do is make sure that we start this chart when the unit boots up. So let's go over to the power up chart and add the start chart command. we'll put the status in a variable called trash, since we're confident the chart will start without any errors. Now we can save and download the strategy. And now we can view the string table in debug mode. And there's our GPS data coming in once a second from the device time, latitude, longitude, all the data from the GPS module is here. So there you have it. We installed our Groove Epic Serial I.O. module. We wired the serial hardware to it, configured the communication handle for the correct board rate, and we built a simple flowchart to gather all of the data. For more information, check out training.opto22.com.